In this video, I'll show you how to add and use markers and also export markers from your composition in Descript Storyboard. Welcome to this video. My name is David and I hope you're well wherever you are around the world. Now, markers help you uh, kind of categorize your content uh, inside Descript Storyboard and also help you navigate faster where you want to go. Now, I'd like you to take a look at this particular section and specifically this particular section right here. We have two icons, the search, and also the shorten word gaps, the remove filler words, uh, kinda icon. But when I click on the first line here, I want to add my first marker there. To add a marker, I'll press on M on my keyboard, and a new marker appears. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to title it, because it's already selected, and call it intro duction. So when I do that, or add the marker, you'll notice we have a new menu here, and it's the jump to marker menu. You can click on it and navigate to where you want it to be. So when you click, for example, I click on the future of work, it takes me to the title. When I click on introduction, it takes me to introduction. What I'll do, I'll just populate a couple of other markers somewhere right here. And let's say uh, we go somewhere here. I've actually just made a selection here press on M so that we can maintain the scene, uh, these scene boundaries here or this, the scene that we added. And because the marker is highlighted, I'll add the first uh, marker or the second one, telemarketing. And then we can scroll down slightly and then we can add another one, click somewhere there and then press on M and call it data entry. And as you add, you'll be able to see your markers right inside here. Pretty awesome. We can scroll down slightly again. And let's say we add another one here and call it bookkeeping. And then we can scroll down slightly, uh, add another marker by pressing on M and call this customer service. So if you'd like to navigate quickly, just simply click on the marker here and then let's say we want to go to telemarketing and we write there. Click on this one as well, go to customer service and we write there. Really handy tool. So you can add them using uh, the letter M or I believe you can also add uh, by doing like a plus and then add a marker or even the pound sign or the, I mean, this is the hash, hash sign. So you can always do that. So for example, if I add one here, we have a marker and we can call this transcription. And if we look at our menu again, we already have that. It's going to highlight that. That's for adding and using to navigate and easily categorize your content into the different sections that you want. It's really, really awesome and really handy to have this. Now, what if you'd like to export the markers? Uh, it's pretty simple. We'll go to publish. And then from this section, click on YouTube. And once you click on YouTube, we don't want to publish it to YouTube, but uh, sometimes you may want to use this method, but let's assume we just want to copy the timestamps. You can actually just scroll down slightly and you'll see the markers right here with the timestamps as required on YouTube. Just copy, control C. You can actually open up a notepad, control V. And there are your timestamps that you can add to your video on YouTube if you'd prefer to export and upload the video uh, manually. But simply put, that is how you can add and use markers and also export markers as timestamps in the script storyboard. I hope this video is of value to you. Thank you so much for watching.